Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Milkshake Blonde by Rochester Mills is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try Milkshake Blonde. This is another beer from the Rochester Mills 12 Days of Milkshake Stout. Just like all the rest of them, uh, it does have the IBUs and ABV right on the can. This is a 5% ABV and 15 IBUs. Uh, blonde Ale, a thick blonde brewed with flaked oats and lactose, aged in white pines. Aged on white pine, sorry. sorry. Uh, locally roasted uh, coffee beans, vanilla, and white chocolate. So let's go ahead and get this into a glass. See what we think about it. Uh, as far as I know from what I've seen before, how they get that chocolate flavor or that coffee flavor in a blonde is you actually make like a cold brewed coffee then you pour that in you don't roast them or you don't put them in uh, the boil kettle or anything like that and by doing that it will not transfer the color as if you boiled it so the head is going down we do have half a finger of head very light head uh, it is white small bubbles uh, about a quarter finger of head if we look at it, it is straw yellow in color, very clear. I can see all the way through it, moderate bubble level. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Roasted coffee is what I'm picking up. Roasted malt, roasted coffee. I don't think that they are using roasted malt, so it's all from the coffee. I do get a little sweet chocolate in there also, but yeah, that roasted coffee is what I get the most out of. Let's go ahead and taste it. Up front, you are getting that coffee, almost like a roasted grain kind of flavor. And then as it goes to the back, you're getting that sweet, white chocolate as it goes down. From the coffee, I get a little pepper out of there, but most good ground coffees or whole bean coffees used in beers, I do get that pepper taste. It might still be a little cold. It's probably been out of the fridge a little over 15 minutes. I like beers like, uh, okay. Oh, cold brewed with white pine coffee. Aged on white pines, locally roasted coffee. Okay, that makes more sense because I was thinking it was on pine. Um, this is my type of beer. If I want a coffee beer or a coffee beer with chocolate, this is what I prefer. Uh, Evil Check makes a uh, Big Speed that is a, uh, a white stout that's very good. Grand Armory also makes a uh, white chocolate blonde. Um, I like that coffee along with that pepper than that white chocolate taste I get out of most of these. When done correctly. I wouldn't say, they say on the can, a thick. I'm not, I would say it's, it might be pushing medium, almost medium, nothing more than that on this one. This is one that I would pick up and drink a lot of. Um, I would probably have to go with a 4.5 out of 5 on this one for my preference. I like that coffee, like I've been saying, that sweet white chocolate in the back going down is good. Once your mouth warms up to that taste, the aftertaste is like a chocolate sweet, uh, a sweet chocolate with a roasted coffee. Uh, 
it is smooth. I'll give it that. I think it's a little smooth. I wouldn't say it's all the way smooth from those oats. But yeah, 4.5 out of 5. I'm sure untapped is not going to be that high. Three of my friends have rated this average 4.08 out of 5. 156 people have rated this average 3.95 out of 5. Tyler did give it a 4. Sweet chocolate and coffee. Light bodied. Yep, so he's kind of on the same page that I am. So yeah, definitely a good beer. So far, and I'll, I'll just do some of these every now and again. I, so far, I think the box is worth it. I know I've only had three, but as of right now, I like them, it, at least these, a lot better than I liked, say, three of the other ones last year. So we'll keep going on them. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.